Belangkas yang juga disebut sebagai mini di Amerika Serikat disebut sebagai horseshoe crab alias kepiting tapal kuda. Tapi namanya agak menyesatkan menurut seorang peneliti di Dinas Pemantauan Pesisir Delaware. Horseshoe crabs, uh, in, in difference of their common name, they're not crabs. They're actually arthropods that are related to um, spiders and scorpions. This is a female, and one of the ways to uh, see that is this first pair of legs. They're actually pinchers. Sering disebut fosil hidup karena praktis tak berubah bentuk selama sekitar 450 juta tahun. Kehadiran Blancas terus dipantau peneliti dan relawan. She will go and bury herself down, lay a clutch of about a golf ball size group of eggs, about three to four thousand at a time, and then once She has laid those eggs. The males will fertilize that area. Sejak tahun 1970-an, keberadaan Mimi mendapat perhatian khusus ahli medis karena dari darahnya yang berwarna biru cerah, peneliti bisa menguji keampuhan vaksin. Kelompok Ecological Research and Development Group dibentuk untuk melestarikannya. So when we talk about the different user groups that have a vested interest in the survival of the population of horseshoe crabs and we you know we know that watermen are interested in them for bait and um, birds are interested in them for the food resource that they need when they're migrating through and the biomedical industry is interested in them uh, for their blood for a test that could be made uh, to detect uh, bacterial endotoxins from their blood one of the things that has always been tested with this test is vaccines So we've got vaccines around the world for all kinds of things, but we now have a whole new wave of vaccines uh, being produced and developed for um, the battle against COVID. Setiap tahun sekitar setengah juta belangkas diambil untuk digunakan darahnya. Hanya sekitar 15 persen yang akhirnya mati dan tak bisa dikembalikan ke laut. I believe we've turned the corner and I think our population is going to do fine, particularly with the introduction of alternative endotoxin tests which is going to take even more pressure off and with the work that's being done on alternative baits for the conchineal fishery which will take even more pressure off. Diperkirakan sekitar 10% dari mimi liar secara alamiah mati karena terbalik lalu tidak bisa membalikan badannya lagi sehingga terpanggang di panas matahari. Karena itu ahli biota laut menyarankan agar para relawan bila mereka melihat mimi yang terbalik atau terperangkap dalam rumpur agar mereka membalikkannya sehingga bisa memperkuat kans mimi ini bisa bertahan di alam liar. Dari Scarborough, Maine, saya Nova Purwadi dan tim VOA.